on what Pat was saying because the same thing that the Lord is stirring in his spirit is doing many, but I wanna start with this. On November 5th, 20 and 20, I was, in a, I was in praying with someone on the phone and the Lord spoke to me and said this. He said, the next four years is harvest. And I have not forgotten that. And it stuck out to me because in 30 years of almost living for the Lord, the Lord has never given me a number. And he said, the next four years is harvest. I want you to know on 2024 is the fourth year. And I have prayed and sought the Lord, but I believe, and we, we'd even heard Kent Christmas received a, received a, 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 a let out a word. And his word was his souls. And souls in 2024 is his main focus. It is nothing but about souls. And we have to position ourselves with the Father to seek Him, to hear His voice, to know when to be obedient unto what He's saying, to seek and save that seek and save that which is lost. It is the will of the Father that our heart beats, and it hurts for what His heart hurts. He it loves what He loves, and He loves the lost. And this is happening, this is gonna happen in 2024, but also the Lord needs the body of Christ to step in to your call, to step into what he has given to you. If he has called you, he has equipped you. And it is going to take every single one of us on our own mission field and in our rhythm every day that we live to accomplish what the Father wants to accomplish through us. Come on. But I wanna say this something else. We're singing about show me your glory. We are a blessed church, whether you realize it or not, the presence of the Lord is here. Not only is his presence here, but his manifest presence is here. Not only have we encountered his manifest presence, we have encountered his glory. But I am here to tell you this morning, if you want to encounter everything is free, but more of his glory, in that glory, the deeper you go, the less you must cut off. You can't take it with you because the road is narrow. Are you hearing me this morning? You don't get to take garbage with you in that place of glory. Come on, come on. Are you awake this morning? That means that things have to be removed from our lives that is not pleasing to the Father, amen. And it is in that place, hallelujah. Also, the Lord's saying that we need to go back to the book of Acts. Everybody needs to read the book of Acts 8, 1 and 8. Whenever you receive the Holy Ghost, then you shall receive power. Hallelujah. The signs, miracles and wonders will be the byproduct of what God is getting ready to do. Because the Lord said that he is going to release himself to people in the bars. Hallelujah. All over. He is going to give himself to people and they are going to have encounters like they have never had before that is life changing hallelujah hallelujah this next song we're singing is he won't relent he won't stop coming to you he will not stop nudging you he will not stop drawing you hallelujah you never want the lord to start start stop drawing you but hallelujah just surrender and say here i am lord i give it all to you in the name of jesus Let's worship Him. And also, we've got a lot of people out today sick. Start stepping in and start praying for people that are sick this morning. Miraculously, they can be 